I'm sure you know this by now, but assets are like the golden children of game development. Some are great, some can be disappointing. My eyes! Hi, my name is Jordan and I make games for a living. I make both YouTube and I do game development. If you're interested in either of these things, consider leaving a subscribe. Now, whether you're making a game in Unity, Godot or Unreal, you'll find there's times when you don't have the skill sets or the ability to program and make some assets. There'll always be a use for assets for that $1 million idea that you will never make. But in this video, I will go over some of my favorite and most used assets for those $1 million game ideas that I will never finish. Let's get into it. We'll start this off strong with my absolute number one do tweet. This is a asset for the sweet price of nothing. And if you don't use this already, make sure to uninstall your Unity. You should know better. This asset is designed for tweening in code. But Jordan, what is tweening I may ask? Why thank you Jordan for asking. Tweening is the process of moving an object from one position to another over a set amount of time. This is called tweening in animation. It's filled with functionality that you'll promise yourself you'll use, but you probably won't. You see this cube? If I wanted to move it from one position to another, I could find the direction of movement, tell it when it reaches the position and then tell it to stop. Or using do tween. This would allow me to set an end position and state how long it will take. Just like your mother. On the screen, I've built a mobile game which uses this for movement, which makes it look super smooth. The tool comes with the ability to have callbacks, something that allow you to do things when the tween reaches certain points. Callbacks like on complete and on start. This means that if you have a character dance when reaching the end position, you can. Look at the little man go. And if that isn't a reason to get it, I don't know what is. My second favorite tool for all you mobile developers out there, this is easy save. Probably the most expensive here, around 70 euros. It's a bit steep, but it's good, so hear me out. Now, if you're anything like I am, purely a game developer, JSON files might be a bit scary for you. That's where Easy Save comes in. Its job is to save and load. It saves a lot of Unity types natively. This means that you can automatically save stuff like floats, ints, vector 3s, vector 2s. And for especially mobile games, this is really useful for storing in-game data. And now let's take a break for our sponsor, me. I don't have enough subscribers yet, which is why you should subscribe. These are the people that are watching that aren't subscribed. I know who you are. Don't make me come over there. It's time for the most important asset, the king of assets for game development, the in-game debugger. Now tell me, have you heard this before? You're on your phone testing out the next quadruple A mobile game, first of its kind, but you get an error. This breaks your morale, you hide in fear of more crashes because you don't know what's caused it. You give up on game development and go back to working for actual money and not on personal projects. Well, look no further than the in-game debugger. With the ability to show you all the messages, errors, and warnings inside of the build itself. No more using that horrible developer console that just spews out rubbish. But honestly, this asset is fantastic. I don't honestly know how I went so long without using it. It's a free asset that allows you to debug all of your issues in runtime in a build. And if I didn't have this, I wouldn't get anywhere and I'd be broke. Next is the hyper casual hats. Who messed with my script? <laughs> For my fourth pick, it's entirely utility based. It's the Odin Inspector. At a price of 55 euros, still again, a little bit steep, but it's not too bad. The Odin Inspector is an editor utility tool designed to organize your stuff instead of making everything just one giant script with everything inside it. No longer will you have a character class with every variable just top to bottom. You can now have them organized like this. For a few attributes that you add to certain variables, you can start organizing your code in a way that makes sense and is categorized. I've been using it to build editor tools that my clients can use to make their own generated stuff. And so far there've been no real issues with it. Very good asset for, for what it gives a pretty low price. Some of my favorite features, if I want to test at runtime without hooking up buttons, well, there's a thing for that. You can just give an attribute button and it works. If those buttons then have parameters, just make a button and it has that. It's safe to say that this asset is a steal and just something which I'd advise to everyone. And finally, we move on to number five. And this one isn't really a single asset. It's the entire suite of Cinti Studio assets. They are expensive, but as a solo developer, they've been super important to me to actually make games and get environments out because I don't 3D model. I am talking from a solo freelancing perspective that it's not that expensive, but they are expensive and I acknowledge that. If you need something that is low poly, works well, is well optimized for games in general, since they all use a small portion of textures for a large scale of models, then this is your way to go. 
If you want something a bit more textured and detailed, probably not your best approach. And with that, that is my five done. So you've reached the end of my video. I just want to say thanks. I'm proud. If there are assets that you use that I haven't brought up, I would love to hear what they are. I personally try and use the most useful assets in all my projects to kind of help speed up my workflow. I don't like things like pre-made game engines like the Corgi engine. I like assets that help the workflow from a smaller scale. And if you do have something like that, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Bye bye